Hey folks, we're over here at the Florida Expo Show today in Tampa. We got Don Dunn, our belly dancer, listening to the Von Schweikert room. And we're looking at their new tower speakers. They're about 40,000 a pair. Don, thank you, Don. They're really sexy. So this is an interesting design because they use an MTM. We like MTM designs, as you guys know. You get double the mid-range surface area. You get control of the vertical dispersion by using an MTM. And they're using the, it looks like they're using the beryllium tweeter from Scanspeak, so it's a very high-end tweeter. Same kind of tweeter that's in my reference speakers, my status acoustics. And they've got four bass drivers, two at the bottom, two at the top. I like speakers that load bass into a room like that because you get more modal density. And it's got a very nice sound to it, very open sound. They're using a company called VAC VAC for, I guess they have a tube preamp and some uh, power amplifiers, solid state power electronics. And there's a whole array of incredible products here, very high end, very expensive. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without the exotic cables. I'm surprised they're not elevating their cables, but they do have garden hose style cables that probably cost more than most people's home theater systems. So you got a good diversity of product here from Von Schweikert. They've, uh, over the years, they've gone up to only doing high end. They used to do more budget line products, but then they ran into some financial problems. And now they're just doing super high end. All the stuff is here done in America. So we're taking a listen. Don, what do you think about these speakers? Why don't you come over here and tell me? I think they're amazing. Incredibly full sound, very neutral. I, I love it. Amplified. I mean, if he's dancing, it's got to be good, right? It just moves my soul to Well, guys, that's our coverage here for Von Schweikert. Uh, please check us out on Facebook and on YouTube for more products that we'll be covering at the Florida Expo Show. So, guys, I was wrong. They do have cable elevators right here. They're elevating their cables. And the rep over here told me the reason why they do that is to eliminate the static field. And I go, well, how is a static field interacting with an AC field? I go, can you measure it? He goes, no, you can't measure it, but you can hear it. So that's what we're resorting to in high-end audio. You can't measure it, but you can hear it. So anybody that wants to get that special sound that you can't quantify, you need these wood cable elevators. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to show you that they do exist still. The cable elevators are still popular in high-end audio. You got to get some elevators for your cables, man. Be a dick. Come on, just get them. Huh? Get them. I was going to get some elevators for my sheets. You got to sell those to your to your. It makes my ass look better. <laughs> you got to sell this to your customers, man. You could probably make another ten grand just on the elevators. And it has to be non-conductive wood. With a resonance frequency below 80. All, all wood is non-conductive, but they'll sell you non-conductive wood.